What is the ideal amount of protein if you're looking to increase your longevity, if you're looking to live as long as possible? Hello everybody, my name is Mike Kohler and I've been a fitness trainer and gym owner for over 25 years. And if this is your first time here and you're looking to turbocharge your fitness, health and nutrition, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out videos like this every single week. Okay, let's talk about protein. Okay, there's a little bit of debate about protein. Pretty much one thing you have to figure out is do you wanna be as muscular as you possibly can or are you interested in living as long as you can? Okay, now that I'm in my 50s, I'm leaning towards more towards living as long as I can, okay? And it seems like the new research is showing that too much protein is actually not a good thing for longevity. It might be okay when it comes to like bodybuilding and resistance type athletes. Like, you know, traditionally, it, it was, there was always that rule you wanna have at least one gram of protein per pound of lean body mass where some bodybuilders and, and resistant type athletes could even double that and go as high as two grams. But it seems like the research now is leading towards if you wanna live longer, you want to reduce your protein. And the main reason you want to reduce your protein on these growth factors, when you eat protein, you know, insulin like growth factors are released and, and these type of growth factors unfortunately makes everything grow. Okay, for example, so, you know, God forbid if you have say, uh, say a, tumor's can a tumor's cancer in your body and you're eating tons of protein and these insulin like growth factors are, are, are running through your system, you can potentially speed up the growth of those tumors. Okay, that's, that's one theory based on why eating, um, too much protein is not a good thing. And once again, I'm not a doctor, I'm a fitness trainer who's been doing this for over 30 years, dealing with thousands of people, and, and I read a lot, I do a lot of research, and this is just something I want everyone to start thinking about. And, and this is why I've actually reduced the amount of protein in my diet. Okay, so what do I recommend and what's the research leading towards? Somewhere around 0.75 grams per pound of lean body mass. That's pretty much the recommendation and that's pretty much what I've been doing right now. And, and, and it seems like the research is leading to something in that neighborhood. So for example, if you're 200 pounds and say you have 20% um, body fat, you would take 160, which is your lean body mass, times it by 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, and that's how many grams of protein you can have. And, and in my own personal opinion, since I switched to like a lower protein diet, I haven't seen any loss in muscle mass. But my goal is not necessarily to be as much as I possibly can. I like to keep my body fat under 10%. You know, if you're, I'm, I'm, gonna rec I'm gonna link up some diets that I recommend on top. You know, I'm into this, as you know, if you follow me, I'm into more of a low carbohydrate, you know, type diet. And, you know, right now my macronutrient ratio, I'm somewhere, I'm almost ketogenic. I would say I'm about 60% or 65% fat, healthy fats that I'm eating. Maybe 20% carbs, 20%, um, proteins and that puts me that puts my protein right in around that 0.75 grand per pound of lean body mass okay well i hope you enjoyed this video something to think about if you're getting older and you're concerned about you know living as long as you possibly can keep an eye on how much protein you're eating if you like this video give me a thumbs up and once again if you're looking to turbocharge your fitness health and nutrition hit that subscribe button i put out videos like this every single week take care and have a great day